welcome back to my channel and uh, I thought I'd cover the new dr drone out by DJI, the Matrix 100. Um, and basically it's that it's creating a drone that can be used for, whether you use it for research, for business or for fun, the Matrix 100 is suitable, flexibility and powerful platform allows you to turn your dreams into reality. For business, yes. For research, yes. For fun, pff, no. It's a bit expensive. That's my opinion. Um, unless you've got deep pockets. Um, so I'm not, I'm not going to do a massive review on this because it's not a, a fun drone to uh, have flying around and doing aerial photography with. It's a bit more serious than this and it's a bit more serious on the pocket. Comes in the same flight controller and you, as you notice it very simulates well, a lot of features similar to the Inspire 1. Props, landing gear, the arms, very much similar to the Inspire basically. They've done some improvements on this because they done actually springs on the things when it lands it's cushions to landing um, it doesn't so it's not it's not solid they actually that will fold under as it lands down it comes with the gimbal or I don't think it comes with the gimbal it, it you got the gimbal same as inspired so you look on here when the pictures go round you, you'll notice it has the gimbal same as inspired so it's taken a lot of the inspired features they've cheated <laughs> that's why I reckon they've cheated not done it from ground upwards and they're saying research, yes, for business, yes, because then you can design this for, and you can program it because it's part of the SDK pack, so you can actually make your own applications for it. But for a fun, it's too expensive, way too expensive. It's more expensive than, than Inspire itself. But it's got lovely, nice features, and it's the first drone on the market that I'm aware of, correct me if I'm wrong, that has a guidance system in there so it will avoid objects. And basically, DJI is called that guidance. Okay, so lots of uh, features. It allows you to have two batteries, so it can combine time. So this will fly at only if you're hovering at 40 minutes. Okay, but if you're flying around, forget it. If you're adding gimbal on it, it it the, the, the 40 minutes drops down a lot, drops down a hell of a lot. So the more payload you add onto this thing, the the the, the, the flight time drops. So if you're on single battery, uh, uh, which is about 20 minutes flight time, by the time you add the camera on it and any additional bits on it, it drops it right away down, probably getting away with true time, about six minutes of flight time. Doubling the battery payload, it says 40 minutes at hovering only, then it gives you features the same. Let's have a look at the features actually. So if we look at the features, it says on here, so hovering time with, with the standard battery is 22 minutes. If you'd use the heavy duty battery, you're looking about 28 minutes of flight time. But that's with no weight on it, that's with just no payload. And when you start adding on their payload of 500 uh, grams, 20 minutes, um, 17 minutes with standard battery, and then if you've got 1k of payload, which will probably be the gimbal and uh, additional on that, you're looking at 30 minutes on a standard battery, 16 minutes on a different battery. Then if you combine the batteries together, so you've got two dual batteries on there which allows you to do this, Hovering time comes at 30 minutes for standard batteries, heavy duty at 40 minutes batteries. Now, with no payload, okay, uh, and using the Zemius gimbal on there, it drops from 40 down to 19, so it drops down to 33 minutes down to 19 minutes. So you can see how much payload is going on to that, how much flight time you actually physically lose, which is a lot. Um, hovering time, uh, again, with the heavy duty batteries, drops from 40 minutes with a gimbal on it, 23 minutes. That's a massive drop in in in, in battery, well, in flight time. I mean, it's great when they start, because they set up, Travis, this is misleading, they set up on their video as 40 minutes of flight time, and they show you it with all, with all the payload on it, which is not true. And these are only right, I got room in field tests when we get, if you ever get one, if I ever get one of these to review, these, these are not gonna be true figures. Because obviously these are only actually hover. These are only times at hovering times where it doesn't go anywhere. So when you start adding in forward thrust and you know propulsion and flying around in a circle, you can, these these minutes here are going to literally drop fast, very fast. So um, that's the bit I wanted to look at because everyone talks about how to add more flight time on it. And when you start adding features on, adding bits and pieces like lights and all stuff on your normal quad, you start losing flight time. And this is just gives you an example. They're not set, they're just literally saying hovering time, you know, not saying that it's if you fly around in a circle at X speed, you get this. This is saying at hovering time, so it's not going anywhere, it's just literally hovering. This is what the, the times are, which is ridiculous. It's really crap. 
But look at the price though. For the Matrix uh, 100 standard, and I don't think it comes with a gimbal because it's not showing a gimbal on there, you're looking at 2,800 quid. That's expensive. It's more expensive than Inspire. At least with Inspire, you get a, a, a camera. Right? So, and it doesn't come with a guidance system. The guidance system is extra. That's an extra 900 quid. So in theory, you're looking at over, well over 3,500 for it. So that's, that combines is still bloody expensive. And, and they say this is for fun. No, no, it's not for fun. This is for, okay for business and development and research, maybe, but not for fun. And look at the, okay, battery prices. Well, I can't moan because the Inspire batteries are very similar in price anyway. But you can see the batteries are very similar to the Inspire battery, just changing the top part, which obviously f features within the, the design of the matrix itself. But uh, it's expensive, it's an expensive quad. So, guys, give me your comments on this. Do you think this is. Good for fun. Is something would you go and buy to have a bit of fun with it, or do you think it'd be this would be good for research, business type applications? Because I don't think this would be a good tool for fun, or, or if you're doing aerial photography, maybe search and rescue, maybe for a business application, to developing new software for it to do different things. But again, I think I think DJI should DJI makes millions. And I think they should literally focus their money on battery technology because that's what's letting these, all these fantastic drones down is the lack in crap batteries they use. Um, we need flight time to be up higher, so we need a better battery that will sustain flight time, not just in hovering mode. It's literally look at flight logs from all or from like a various say a range of people flying to work out what particular type of style of flying they do to work out. A battery designed around that than to give us true proper figures we would like to have a 40 minutes of flight time or, or an hour's flight time on a single or dual batteries you know but we need the battery technology to be up that sort of um, level to do it otherwise these drones are going to be very much not very the other minute they're right for short search and rescue stuff but if you want the drone to be in the air to literally fly around cover much larger areas then we need more battery more better battery um, design out there and I think DJI, I mean DJI is a massive profitable company now and they're doing really well and they've come out with some fantastic bit of kit including the Matrix is a nice bit of kit basically but expensive and they should take some of their research money and put it into better batteries for all their products including the Inspire including their Phantom 3 so tell me what your thoughts are guys on this and comment below it would be very interesting to know what you think on this new drone they've brought, brought out Right, um, in the next few days, I've got some tickets coming from the UK Drone Show. So anybody interested in tickets, a free ticket to the UK Drone Show, I'm doing a competition to give away 50 free tickets to the UK Drone Show. So watch my website for more details on that uh, coming up very, very soon. Until then, guys, um, fly safe, be safe, and speak to you soon. Cheers.